Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi kepada semua. Workshop ini ada dua sesi. Sesi yang pertama lebih kepada skor GDL dan Adams Method untuk penyelesaian persamaan perbezaan biasa Korea. But uh, I think this is the second session. And this is the first session again.
they wait for him with all the compounds and whatnot. And he came. Then the Tobaton, the Tobaton, that area is uh, the Oramasi area. The Tobaton uh, brought him uh, to uh, his house. And uh, the Tobaton just converted. Okay? No offense is meant. He's converted to uh, being a Muslim. But when he went to the house, he finds uh, dogs all around. Dogs at the stairs, dogs under the table, dogs on the table, on the chair. So he feels uneasy. So he slowly uh, calls me to button, to button, to button. The Muslim uh, cannot uh, rear dogs. Oh, don't worry, uh, that dog, don't worry. I, they don't know that I'm a Muslim. <laughs> The rating is poor. Okay. So uh, let's begin uh, with uh, our uh, my responsibility this morning to convey you more about the code for ODE. The multi step at that code. Some of these are overlap with uh, what we had uh, previously, okay? But there's some issues that that pertains to the course. Now this is uh, our differential equation, y dash is of x1. Y is uh, an m-dimensional method, current vector. F is also an m-dimensional vector. So uh, we type the initial value. Okay, we uh, we start off with uh, with the Adams type method. From that differential equation, okay, you. Uh, Back values, multi step method is about using uh, back values. Now, if you integrate equation one, approximating f with a polynomial, if you integrate equation one, you'll get that. Okay, equation two, then that's pretty uh, straightforward. Then you will form a, a polynomial of uh, degree k minus 1, of degree k minus 1, form a polynomial p k and x of degree k minus 1, in other words, using k back values, starting from xn, fn, xn minus 1, so on and so forth. Then the, uh, the uh, polynomial can be Represented by uh, that one that given there. Okay. This is the uh, form in the form of the divided difference. This is uh, in the form of the divided difference. Now the you can do modified divided difference. That's tougher. So Champagne did uh, that modified divided difference. It is uh, it doesn't uh, seem to have uh, much advantage. The modified divided difference, which is uh, lengthy, but Champagne does that. So, but the uh, arguments is much the same. Now the beauty of these. Uh, of this expression of the polynomial is that when you want to increase the uh, degree of the uh, polynomial, you just add another term there, another term at the end, the relevant term. Where, whereas if you uh, do, uh, what is the uh, polynomial, the other polynomial, 
Okay, go ahead now. Lagrange. Okay, Lagrange. Lagrange, you have to uh, rework everything. You have to rework everything from from the first term. So uh, that's Lagrange. But people for doing the theoretical work, people prefer the Lagrange. So this is for implementation purposes. They uh, do the divided difference. The rain has come. Okay, so uh, that's there. So if you integrate the polynomial in two, you will get this. You'll get this. And this is an explicit method. Okay? These days, the people do not use ex explicit method anymore. So uh, in this aspect, this is used as an approximation. P in implies predict. Equation 3, P implies predict. This is called the predictor polynomial. Another 15 minutes, so uh, what do I do? Say more jokes? <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. integrating equation 2, you will get 3. Wait, gi, g, comma, gi, comma 1 is uh, this integration of this polynomial, x minus x and x minus n minus 1, so on and so forth. Now, one, now if in, uh, normally you will have uh, the uh, formulation that gi t, t uh, general, that gives T represents the integration. The integration. If there are GI2, there will be two integrations of this uh, polynomial there. Okay? Of that polynomial. So GI1 is one integration. Now, uh, so in you, GI1 is then defined by that. By uh, that. So we have that formula. Then, Now the corrector, once you have the predictor, once you have the predictor, the corrector is given by this. This is where I say you use the x n plus one that you obtain using the predictor formula formula. At n plus one p. Okay? I'm sure you are familiar with this. Just to recap back what uh, you had. Now this is a polynomial of degree k. Just now, the predictor was taking k minus 1, you start with xn. Now you obtain um, fn plus 1 using the predictor. So you have fn plus 1, p, and you, uh, you have the uh, polynomial by that. p, k, the degree k minus 1, plus another term there. Another term there. Okay? So it's easy to memorize uh, this term. You look at it carefully, you will uh, find it's easy to uh, memorize. It's good. Uh, Sometimes to memorize uh, things, especially the one that we uh, deal with quite so often. If it was Lagrange just now, we would have to uh, rework the polynomial on the right, rework from the first term. So, uh, by replacing fxy in uh, by uh, the uh, polynomial, the correct polynomial in two gives you this formula, okay? I won't deal with uh, the algebra of the uh, formula. So, uh, if you integrate, you get that. 4 and 5. 1 and plus 1. Number 5 is y n plus 1 dash. Should be the derivative, number 5. Question 5. y n plus 1 is y n plus 1 is the predictor that we had just now. y, y dash n plus 1 should be p dash G K not because pre, because the uh, derivative you do not differentiate anymore. The integration for y you have y dash, so you integrate once. But because you and the values of the interpolation polynomial are due to f, in other words, you are interpolating f. So uh, for the derivative you just 
get the value at x n plus 1. So that's why g k not, no integration. g k not. And look at the formula of the derivative y dash n plus 1. This is uh, g k not, no integration. The polynomial g k plus 1 evaluated at x n plus 1. Now, Letting E, this is the increment that we had to uh, deal with in the uh, partitioning yesterday. The increment is given by that. Okay. Remember, we are inter we are we are interpolating F the derivatives. We are interpolating F the derivatives. That is why the Adams method to get the Adams method. That is why the Adams method is said to be an integration method integration method. So, E is given uh, by that. Do the proper substitution and uh, the algebra, you will get the uh, predictor given by that, the corrector given by that. So, the only term that you need to know is uh, E. E is the one we iterate. Okay? In this case, we have Y plus 1 1, which is the predictor, and uh, E1, we uh, iterate from uh, the value f minus p dash, just above it. Okay? Above that. You get e1. So that basically sum up the, uh, pre the uh, corrector for the uh, Adams method. For the Adams method. And Adams method is used to. Uh, of non-state system, okay? Now we look at BDF. We, similarly, we form the interpolation polynomial using uh, that value then. What number six there, okay? The y's. What is the difference between... Uh, the approach is the same. The approach is the same. What's the difference between BDF and uh, Adams? Like this. Adams is integration method. Yeah, okay. Uh, is more like differentiation? Yeah. The interpolation is uh, y. Yeah. The y, okay? Whereas Adams, the interpolation was f. So f, y dash, f, to get the y you integrate. Here you interpolate the y. BDF you interpolate the y, and to get y dash, you differentiate. Okay? That's the uh, difference. Now, uh, having said that, the formula is much the same, except that y is being replaced by f. f is being replaced by y. Differentiating the polynomial from 6, you get that. Gi1, the, the same polynomial as we have in G, but this time differentiation, G, G, X. So this is Gi1. You have uh, K minus 1 term. And on I, I minus 1. Uh, or rather I term. I term. Okay. N, N minus 1, minus I minus 1. So from 0, to i minus 1, so we have i term. So differentiating of that polynomial there will give you uh, the formula for the predictor of uh, the BDF. It's very simple. Because I've lived with it for 40 years. For 40 years, I have to go through this. See, my brain. Uh, Develop uh, Parkinson. <laughs> Who is my colleague Ali? He's my advisor. His mother suffered from Parkinson as well. He asked me to find it. I, if I tell sad stories, I will cry. So. I go to tell jokes. Where are we? 
Now, uh, this is the uh, corrector. A is the uh, corrector. We uh, now we uh, for the uh, BDF in instead you you have obtained F n plus one. Okay, you have obtained F n plus one to the predictor. You use F n plus one in items. You add. You put one more extra point, but not with that BDF. BDF, you throw one, you put in the latest Fn plus one, you uh, throw the uh, end point, the end point x, and or rather y and up to uh, the last point, the n minus k plus two. This is the, uh, the divided difference, okay? You, uh, again, you do the uh, algebraic manipulation, you get nine. You get nine. There's a plus there, missing. Nine. So you get that. That? Okay. Now, this is what we want. We have the uh, predicted values of y and y dash, we want the uh, values to satisfy the corrected values to satisfy that equation there. Right hand side y, y dash, n plus 1, this is f. So y dash n plus 1 should be equal to f evaluated at x n plus 1. Okay? Now the term near 10 there I call gk minus 1. It should be big G. To, uh, I use big G uh, so that thing, gk minus one, two, that term there. I love to walk, so let me walk while I can. Now this term here is big D, okay? So now uh, we have, uh, we expand this to a uh, series, series, okay? The first order term. So you expand that, you will get that. You manipulate, you will get that. Okay. So this is the the last the last equation there is the uh, formula for the BDF in order to find the increment e. Gk minus one is a uh, a term involving step size. Now this is an important term because our discussion hinge on uh, that term GK minus 1. Okay? And GK minus 1. So look at it. As I said, GK minus 1 is dependent on the uh, step size. On the, yeah, the step size edge. The step size edge. So this is variable order, variable step size. Variable order, variable step size. Yesterday, when we uh, did the, uh, when we did the, uh, what was it uh, that we did? Partitioning via graph. Never mind. Yeah. The g k minus one is a term of value at one order one over h, one over h. As h gets larger, g k minus one gets smaller. That is the simple idea that we use to uh, do a partitioning. This time, from yesterday was from stiff to non-stiff. No, non-stiff to stiff. When you invoke instability, then you find the equation that causing the problem. But today, we also look at the possibility of stiff changing it back to non-stiff. Okay? So, and this term play a part. So this gk minus 1 is uh, of order 1 over s. As h increases, as h increases, which you expect, it 
if uh, it's steep, x should increase. Otherwise, why do you partition? If x increases, then gk minus 1 becomes smaller. But if the value of gk minus 1 gets bigger, gets bigger, you uh, tend to know that you uh, are approaching transient position where the curve is uh, not steep anymore. The curve is very curvy. Okay? So, uh, that, now this is uh, the uh, modified Newton iteration. Modified because uh, you don't, you should be uh, changing del f, del y at every step. But you don't do that. We'll uh, discuss that. Now, if it's normal, what is normal? You are normal, I'm not normal. <laughs> it's normal to view uh, the method as interpolating back values of y, 1 minus j. When j is to the 0, you are interpolating the value of y dash, which is that. Okay, so j is to zero is the Adams method. Shorthand, we sometimes refer to j to zero to indicate the Adams method. j is to one, you are interpolating y, one minus j, so j is to one, you are interpolating y, y, okay, you are interpolating y. So that's the reason for shorthand purposes, we say the method is j is to zero and j is to one. Now the error formula you uh, can derive, okay? Now I just put it down there. For j is 1, the error at, for an order k method is given by the first term at the top, the gk minus 1, comma 2 over gk one. The bottom one is for the BDI. That's the error. You need three more errors value for purposes of choosing the order, for purposes of choosing the right order, okay? So, uh, the, the uh, error formula is given by uh, for k minus 2, replace k in the formula above, using, uh, repl replace k by k minus 2 for error at order k minus 2, using k minus 2 points, okay? So you need that. Now, in this discussion, we adopt Champagne's error strategy, similar to Champagne. Now, the goodness or the beauty of a Champagne strategy, anyone uh, can uh, tell what is the goodness of uh, Goodness of the Pakai Kuputi. The the order is uh, stable. I want uh, stable is not the right word. Consistent. Consistent. Okay. Crow, FT Crow, uses the strategy of uh, finding the order that gives uh, the maximum step size. Finding the order that gives the maximum step size. When it can encounter instability, the order fluctuates very fast, changes very fast. So not consistent. One of the ways uh, we uh, try to uh, see whether a problem is still or not is the consistency of the uh, order, the choice of lower order. When method that uses champagne or champagne strategy, the order tends to uh, go for the lower one. Three, four, three, four, two. In, in actual fact, when you encounter stiffness, you don't need a high order method. Two, three will not suffice. Until and when, they incur back the transient phase. 
with curve changes and there is a transient phase. Then the order exists for champagne. So that helps a lot. That helps a lot compared to uh, one that uh, is uh, not consistent. Now we uh, accept or reject based on uh, the errors that have been told. Okay? We accept or we reject a value that we are calculating based uh, on the error that has told. Theta is uh, your choice of a solution. If A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, then you have a mixed method. And no, mix error test. Mix error test. If A is 0, B is 1, then you have a relative error test. So theta is just plug in there. It's your choice. If the other, the other one is the absolute error. Okay? So there are three choices of error. Normally we go for mix error. Because if the, when uh, the uh, solution is too big, flat, relative error is uh, preferred. But mix error test, when the solution is small or reasonable, you go for mix error test. So uh, it's safe to go for mix error test all the way. Because if you go to relative, the answer is big. And, uh, and uh, what do you call it? <coughs> and absolute if uh, the, error, the solution is small. Now the uh, error ER, R is uh, the uh, so K minus 2, K minus 1, so on, so forth. And this is uh, the choice of champagne order strategy. If this is not unique. The theory is, uh, is varied, okay? So uh, you can choose your own order strategy or uh, order strategy or even uh, set size strategy. So in, in his case, if k is greater than 2, order is lowered by 1, okay? Order is lowered by 1, maximum k minus 1, k minus 2, less or equal to EK. So your choice is you choose the order with a minimum minimum error. So that is if K greater than 2. If K is equal to 2, then uh, you ask for E1, 1 point, EK minus 1 should be less or equal to 0 0.5 times EK. Okay? The order is uh, lower. So in this case, then uh, 0 0.5 times EK, EK minus 1 is uh, lower in terms of magnitude of the error. Now you don't, you don't raise the order as you wish. The order is raised by 1 only after K plus 1 successful step. K plus 1 successful step. The, the, uh, Order choice is so consistent that normally you have very little step failures. Very little step failures. So uh, if we have EK plus 1 available, we uh, lower the order if EK minus 1 is less or equal to EK, EK plus 1. Just now EK minus 1, EK minus 2, is one of them is the max. Then we lower the order if it's less than uh, EK minus 1. Here, if we we have EK plus 1, we look at EK, the maximum of EK and EK plus 1. If this is larger than EK minus 1, we lower the order. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it possible to remain the order or we should increase the order? Champagne, the choose to test whether the order can be reduced or not. So, uh, it is that. Because when you have a state failure, there's uh, something that is uh, right. low order may be too low or too high. Okay. 
The order is raised by one after k plus one successful step at constant step size. At constant step size. That is why his uh, his code is uh, biased towards constant step size. Bias. Although it's a variable, order variable step size. Now, uh, we restrict the order is raised after k plus one successful step at constant step size. Such that t k is less than the two uh, k minus ek minus one, ek minus two, and for k is one, the ek plus one less than that. Okay. We restrict k in the range of cases one to twelve for j is zero for Adam's method. K less or equal to six for j is greater than one. Billiard. Why is that? Why do we have? We uh, go for maximum of six, and uh, items we go for twelve. You missed answering questions. No. I thought you missed already. So good, did you? Okay, that's good. That's uh, partly correct, but uh, the, the main reason is that for case 7, the video is unstable. The uh, stability polynomial has roots greater than 1. It's, it's stable if the poly stability polynomial has modulus less than or equal to 1, and uh, that of root 1 is uh, simple. Root of modulus 1 is simple. So uh, th that is why uh, we have to go up to say. Okay, new step. How do you choose the new step? Okay. Now, uh, the error ek is of order x to the power of k plus w. Okay. Missing then is uh, what is w? W is uh, either 0 or 1. If it is a uh, BDM, the order is lower than uh, items. That's why we go for items where things are permissible. W is 1 for items, W is equal to 0 for, for media. Now, uh, EK x is equal to C times x to the power of uh, K plus W should be W then. Okay. Then, if we have uh, a new step size, then the error due to the new step size should be uh, given by that. Because EK is on order as you go, okay, so EK new, if you use EK new the error, we want, or rather, should be uh, C as you go, okay, plus W, should be equal to tall. You, you, your choice would be, I want to choose the uh, step size that give me the uh, error that is less than tall, slightly less than tall, but maximum possible. So that you can finish fast. You can finish fast. Your choice is, uh, that is your choice. So, looking at the, those situations, you will find H new should be equal to H times R. R is that value then, okay? R is that value. One, over k plus w, w is in one items and uh, zero area. So this is the uh, set size control formula. Okay. Now, what is the uh, normal drawback that people say about multi step method? What is the normal drawback? People say about multi step method when compared to uh, other methods. 
orang yang kita pergi sini. What is the drawback? Self starting. Self starting. Okay. Grand Yakuta is self starting. Multi step method you uh, need starters. Normally you choose. Ranja Kusa method. So that gives an impression that the Ranja Kusa method is one up over item. Okay? Therefore, Champagne provides you with the initial step size formula. Okay? Now this is the, the formula. Stretch, approximately equal to tall over F, square root of that, okay? Just to be on the safe side, the um, divided by a factor of 1 over 4, to be on the safe side. There is a safety factor, 1 over 4. And this is the initial step size provided by you. Now, we, our code of multi-step method doesn't have to be dependent on Ranja Kuta. They are free. They are free. Next, we, we uh, touch on conversion. Now, in uh, using BDF method, positive problem, we do two Newton iterations twice to get E1 and E2. To get E1 and E2. We don't do more than that. We don't do more than that. Our convergence, we would like the third. E3, the third iterate, if you do, if you do, which is in a, the third iterate is this, yn plus 1, 3, minus yn plus 1, 2, be as small as permitted error tolerance. So we want it to be a E3 less or equal to tall. Theta, the safety factor, theta times the tall. Your choice of theta is again based on your empirical evidence, your experience in handling this. Since we don't want to uh, avoid doing uh, the third iteration E3, we uh, replace E3 here from the, uh, from the uh, formula here. Replace. Replace E2 with this uh, formula, with that best relationship, and you obtain this. This is a bit lengthy, a bit lengthy though, but um, what to do? God has given us that way, so we accept it. I accept my faith with my Parkinson. <laughs> okay, so that is uh, the uh, convergence formula. Now this example is uh, just to show that the one that we had using divided difference is uh, work. Work, okay? No more than that. Now uh, let me... Uh, because we are doing partitioning, we uh, do the order of the solution each for each equation. Champagne is a variable order but constant within the set. Although all the equations, if they order three, all are order three. Whereas in uh, the one that I have developed is uh, the order varies. Question one may be uh, order four, question uh, five may be order six. What is the, uh, what is the uh, advantage of what was in, on my mind? I hope it's not you. <laughs> what 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 was on my mind? If we encountered stiffness, the one that is affected will have a lower order. The one is unaffected will choose the high order. Okay. So uh, that's the. Uh, Main reason why the order is variable at each step, varies at each step. Now this is a, 
the second order problem, a system of uh, two uh, equations, but uh, if we reduce to first order, we have a system of four equations. Now, the solution here is a trigonometric, okay? Trigonometric, cos x, sin x, sin minus sin x, cos x. Now, uh, this is the uh, solution compared with the champagne method in crow. Is there crow then? No crow is not here. I hope it's alive. Okay. I think the other problem is a uh, one on crow. It, it is comparable. We look at the function evaluation or 12 to minus 10 to minus 2. This one blues out. Which is a okay, there is some one. Function evaluation blues out. Let's take uh, minus 3 to 60. To uh, to sixteen, to eighty two, wins and the minus one in terms of function equation. Error. There's no time maybe. Huh? Error not bad. Happy yeah. first step. Okay. So, the early, okay, so, 